hand, foot, and mouth disease, Wikipedia audio. Hand, foot, and mouth disease is a common infection caused by a group of viruses. It typically begins with a fever and feeling generally unwell. This is followed a day or two later by flat discolored spots or bumps that may blister, on the hands, feet, and mouth, and occasionally buttocks and groin. Signs and symptoms normally appear 3-6 days after exposure to the virus. The rash generally goes away on its own in about a week. Fingernail and toenail loss may occur a few weeks later, but will regrow with time. The viruses that cause HFMD are spread through close personal contact, through the air from coughing, and the feces of an infected person. Contaminated objects can also spread the disease. Coxsackie virus A16 is the most common cause and Enterovirus 71 is the second most common cause. Other strains of Coxsackie virus and Enterovirus can also be responsible. Some people may carry and pass on the virus despite having no symptoms of disease. Other animals are not involved. Diagnosis can often be made based on symptoms. Occasionally a throat or stool sample may be tested for the virus. Hand washing may prevent spread and those infected should not go to work, daycare, or school. No antiviral medication or vaccine is available, but development efforts are underway. Most cases require no specific treatment. Simple pain medication such as ibuprofen or numbing mouth gel may be used. Occasionally intravenous fluids are given to children who are unable to drink enough. Rarely viral meningitis or encephalitis may complicate the disease. Signs and Symptoms HFMD occurs in all areas of the world. It often occurs in small outbreaks in nursery schools or kindergartens. Large outbreaks have been occurring in Asia since 1997. It usually occurs during the spring, summer, and fall months. Typically it occurs in children less than 5 years old, but can occasionally occur in adults. HFMD should not be confused with foot and mouth disease which mostly affects livestock. Common constitutional signs and symptoms of the HFMD include fever, nausea, vomiting, feeling tired, generalized discomfort, loss of appetite, and irritability in infants and toddlers. Skin lesions frequently develop in the form of a rash of flat discolored spots and bumps which may be followed by vesicular sores with blisters on palms of the hands, soles of the feet, buttocks, and sometimes on the lips. The rash is rarely itchy for children, but can be extremely itchy for adults. Painful facial ulcers, blisters, or lesions may also develop in or around the nose or mouth. HFMD usually resolves on its own after 7-10 days. Most cases of the disease are relatively harmless, but complications including encephalitis, meningitis, and paralysis that mimics the neurological symptoms of polio can occur. The viruses that cause the disease are of the P. coronaviridae family. Coxsackie virus A16 is the most common cause of HFMD. Enterovirus 71 is the second most common cause. Many other strains of Coxsackie virus and enterovirus can also be responsible. HFMD is highly contagious and is transmitted by nasopharyngeal secretions such as saliva or nasal mucus, by direct contact, or by fecal-oral transmission. Child care settings are the most common places for HMFD to be contracted because of the bathroom training, diaper changes, and that children often put their hands into their mouths. Children that do not attend a preschool or kindergarten were found to be more susceptible to the disease. 
HFMD is contracted through nose and throat secretions such as saliva, sputum, nasal mucus, and as well as fluid in blisters, and stool. A diagnosis usually can be made by the presenting signs and symptoms alone. If the diagnosis is unclear, a throat swab or stool specimen may be taken to identify the virus by culture. The common incubation period ranges from 3 to 6 days. Early detection of HFMD is important in preventing an outbreak in the pediatric population. Preventive measures include avoiding direct contact with infected individuals, proper cleaning of shared utensils, disinfecting contaminated surfaces, and proper hand hygiene. These measures have been shown to be effective in decreasing the transmission of the viruses responsible for HFMD. Protective habits include hand washing and disinfecting surfaces in play areas. Breastfeeding has also shown to decrease rates of severe HFMD, though does not reduce the risk for the infection of the disease. A vaccine known as the EV71 vaccine is available to prevent HFMD in China as of December 2015. No vaccine is currently available in the United States. Cause Medications are usually not needed as hand, foot, and mouth disease is a viral disease that typically resolves on its own. Currently, there is no specific curative treatment for hand, foot, and mouth disease. Disease management typically focuses on achieving symptomatic relief. Pain from the sores may be eased with the use of analgesic medications. Infection in older children, adolescents, and adults is typically mild and lasts approximately one week, but may occasionally run a longer course. Fever reducers and lukewarm baths can help decrease body temperature. A minority of individuals with hand, foot, and mouth disease may require hospital admission due to complications such as inflammation of the brain, inflammation of the meninges, or acute flaccid paralysis. Non-neurologic complications such as inflammation of the heart, fluid in the lungs, or bleeding into the lungs may also occur. Complications from the viral infections that cause HFMD are rare, but require immediate medical treatment if present. HFMD infections caused by Enterovirus 71 tend to be more severe and are more likely to have neurologic or cardiac complications including death than infections caused by Coxsackie virus A16. Viral or aseptic meningitis can occur with HFMD in rare cases and is characterized by fever, headache, stiff neck, or back pain. The condition is usually mild and clears without treatment, however, hospitalization for a short time may be needed. Other serious complications of HFMD include encephalitis, or flaccid paralysis in rare circumstances. Fingernail and toenail loss have been reported in children 4-8 weeks after having HFMD. The relationship between HFMD and the reported nail loss is unclear, however, it is temporary and nail growth resumes without treatment. Minor complications due to symptoms can occur such as dehydration, due to mouth sores causing discomfort with intake of foods and fluid. Hand, foot, and mouth disease most commonly occurs in children under the age of 10. It tends to occur in outbreaks during the spring, summer, and autumn seasons. This is believed to be due to heat and humidity improving spread. HFMD is more common in rural areas than urban areas, however, socioeconomic status and hygiene levels need to considered. Poor hygiene is a risk factor for HFMD. Outbreaks have occurred in China, Japan, Hong Kong, the Republic of Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Taiwan, and Vietnam. 
HFMD most commonly affects young children under the age of 10 and more often under the age of 5, but can also affect adults with varying symptoms. Transmission Diagnosis Since 1997 there have been 71 large enterovirus outbreaks reported, mostly in East and Southeast Asia, primarily affecting children. From the years 2008 to 2014, more than 1 million HFMD cases have been reported in China each year. Prevention Vaccine Treatment Complications Epidemiology HFMD cases were first described clinically in Canada and New Zealand in 1957. The disease was termed hand foot and mouth disease after a similar outbreak in 1959. Novel antiviral agents to prevent and treat infection with the viruses responsible for HFMD are currently under development. Preliminary studies have shown inhibitors of the F71 viral capsid to have potent antiviral activity. Media related to hand, foot and mouth disease at Wikimedia Commons News related to highly contagious hand, foot and mouth disease killing China's children at Wiki News. Outbreaks History Research